the anti-Polish Moscow-Swedish alliance caused the reaction of the Polish king, Sigismund III Vasa, who declared war on Moscow. The target was to capture the Smolensk. However, in the summer of 1610, the Polish-Lithuanian troops besieging Smolensk found out that the powerful Swedish-Russian army was concentrating near Kaluga, in order to move to the relief of Smolensk. Their reaction was to pick a few thousand soldiers, commanded by Hetman Stanislaw Zolkiewski, from the besieging army and send them to stop the Muscovites. Zolkiewski's army consisted mainly of winged hussars, but it also included other types of troops, such as Cossacks, Petty Horsey, Hajduks. The Moscow's army numbered about 30,000 soldiers. They were commanded by Dmitry Shuesky, brother of Tsar Vasily IV. The Muscovites didn't know that the Polish army was moving rapidly towards them, the more they didn't expect that this army would attack them. So, their camp wasn't properly fortified. The Russian army was aided by 5,000 European mercenaries, who came from many European countries, Sweden, Finland, Germany, France, Spain, Flanders, England and Scotland. They were professional soldiers with the highest combat value in the Moscow's army. However, the mercenaries had low morale, because Shuesky didn't pay them their military salary, and argued with their commander Jacob de la Gardai. The low quality of the Moscow troops and low morale of mercenaries gave Zolkiewski an opportunity to attack a much larger army and hope for a success. The hetman attempted to make night skirmish. However, this action failed due to the noise caused by the bear's attack on Polish soldiers and horses. The next day, both armies were prepared for battle. Foreigners created front of Moscow's army. Muscovites were very confident, they didn't expect, that the Poles would decide to attack them. The hetman had made a speech to the army at the beginning of the battle, and launched the attack.
заплатит. A new threat of mercenaries' betrayal forced Matrishuayski to escape from the camp. Others began to follow him, leaving goods in the camp to stop the chase. Crown forces and mercenaries ended fighting and started negotiating. Zolkuski used this opportunity to negotiate with the mercenaries. Jacob de la Gardai and Matrishuayski tried to stop the negotiations, but they failed. So, the mercenaries went to the Polish side or returned to their homelands. The defeat of Shuiski's army contributed to the downfall of Sava's EV4. No one could stop Zolkuski, his new army numbered almost 20,000 soldiers. Zolkuski had arrived to the Moscow the 3rd of August, and after negotiations the son of the Polish king got title of Tsar of Russia. However, but this pact didn't last long. <laughs> 